Lee, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but if I remember correctly, you're at least 35, right? 64. I wasn't asking your age. No, okay. it doesn't bother. At the age of at least 35, I know, you know, you know as, when a woman gets to be 40 or older, doctor's going to say you have to start being conscientious about calcium intake because you're at risk for osteoporosis. Okay? And doctors seem to think that osteoporosis is something that simply happens as we get older. In other words, it's just caused by aging. Is it? Absolutely not. Okay? Osteoporosis occurs at, because your body is attempting to protect itself. You know, let me say it a different way. Your body creates osteoporosis on purpose. Crazy. Why would it do that? To renew the bone. It's not to renew the bone. What's happening is the vast majority of what most people eat today, according to one study published a few years ago, the average American was getting 97% of their calories from processed foods and animal products. Okay? All of which are acid-forming foods. They're tending your body's pH to go down. Right, we talked about it once before, those of you that have been here all along now. Your blood's pH has to be between 7.35 and 7.45. It's a very narrow range. Slightly alkaline. And there's that disease that develops, what's it called again? Oh yeah, death, if you move too far out of that range. Okay, so what your body does, if you're eating acid-forming foods and your pH is tending to go down, your body has to find some way to keep it from dropping. So what does it do? It looks for something it can pull into solution in the bloodstream to bring the pH up, something alkaline, to, to alkalize your body. What is it, what is it do, using? What's, it, what's, what's happening? Your body is purposely taking calcium and other minerals from your bones to make your blood more alkaline so you don't die. Now, this isn't because you're over 40 that this happens. It's because you're eating crap that doesn't belong in the body. Animal products and processed foods, most cooked foods, nuts and seeds, beans, grains, acid-forming foods. What's not acid-forming? Is there anything left? Yeah, there's fruit and leafy greens. Not acid-forming. That's what you should be eating. Okay? If you're eating the other stuff, you're tending your pH to go down, and your body's going to wind up giving up calcium. Now, one of the things that most women are told in the Western world is consume more dairy products. Has anyone ever said that to you? Yeah, consume more dairy products. Why? Because dairy products have tons of calcium. Good thing, right? Well, there's a little problem. The problem is, remember we talked the other day about the fact that cows grow roughly 10 times their birth weight in one year. And that means that cow milk has way more fat and way more protein than our bodies needed, even as little infants when we were tripling in size. No adult of any mammalian species drinks milk. Every mammal makes milk for its infant young. No other, no other adult mammal uses milk, and definitely not of another species. So the problem with eating more dairy is that our bodies were never intended for it, and we can't break down the protein. And the calcium is bound up in that protein. And dairy products are acid-forming. So if you look at the countries that have the highest consumption of dairy products in the world, the United States, United Kingdom, Sweden, Switzerland, Holland, and Denmark, I think I might have missed one, but seven or eight countries, the same seven or eight countries have the highest rates of osteoporosis. Okay? Now, why is it that we don't all know this already? Well, the American Dairy Council in the U.S., I don't remember the numbers anymore, but it used to be $100,000 they were spending to, you know, to, to edu educate people. Marketing. $100,000. Is that a lot of money? $100,000? They spend a lot more per day. Per day. Influencing the FDA. Hundred thousand dollars per day. Oh, okay. Per day. That's three point. That what is that? Thirty-six and a half million dollars a year. Okay, that's probably way more now. That's like a twenty-year-old figure. Way more. It's probably a lot more than that. It might be a hundred million. It's a big business. 
And here's what they care about, selling you dairy products. Whatever happens to you, that's your problem. They want your money, okay? They're not interested in your health, okay? Remember, no other species uses another species dairy, another species milk. Yeah? Is osteoporosis reversible? It is. Osteoporosis is reversible. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't mention that. It's reversible. A couple things you got to do, okay? You hear about the guy that goes to the doctor and says, Doc, whenever I do this, it hurts. What does the doctor say to him? Stop it. Stop doing that. Okay? So the problem with osteoporosis, the cause of osteoporosis is an acidic diet, an acid-forming diet. So the first thing you got to do is stop eating the crap you're eating. You could take all of the calcium supplements in the world and never fix it. And I'll show you why. We'll, we'll end with this once we're done with this. I hope this is not a permanent marker. This marker will permanently mark other surfaces. What other surfaces? Okay. Well, we're going to have to see if we can get that off of here. Um, in the meantime, let's go right here. What's that? Someone's taking a group map. Yep. Okay, so who can tell me what that is? I'll give you a hint. It's not the continuum of all possible diet choices. <coughs> That's a bathtub. That's right. And let's say that this bathtub holds 100 liters of water. Okay? It's a small bathtub. We're just going to use easy numbers. And let's say that if we turn the water on full blast, we're going to get 10 liters of water per minute. Okay, 10 liters per minute. So, the question is, for all you mathematicians, how long will it take to fill the bathtub? Ten. Who said that? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Seems logical, right? Everyone agree, ten minutes? It's not ten minutes. I forgot to point out to you, There's something missing. sitting right here on the edge of the bathtub, that little thing sitting on the edge of the bathtub, that's the drain plug. Ah. How long is it going to take you to fill the bathtub now? Never You're never going to fill the bathtub because the water is going to run out just as fast as it's coming in. That's what's happening in the average body of the average person who's been prescribed calcium supplements for their osteoporosis because they keep eating an acid-forming diet and the calcium is running out of their body faster than they can assimilate it, no matter how much they take. They can't assimilate it fast enough. They're never going to fill their stores back up. Does this make sense? So the first thing is you got to put the plug in. Okay, You put the plug in your diet by giving up the acid-forming stuff and adopting a physiologically appropriate diet of fruit and leafy greens. All alkaline forming foods. You stop losing the calcium first of all. You get sunlight. You need to have sunlight. Okay? It's not going to work very well in uh, the Czech Republic or northern Germany in the wintertime or a lot of other places. You're going to have to get sunlight. You're going to have to do weight bearing exercise. And that's it. Do those three things. And you're going to be perfectly fine. You can reverse osteoporosis. It's all it takes. Okay, I'm sure the Osteoporosis Association is going to be knocking on my door tomorrow once this video is on YouTube. Right, to get more information about how they can correct the problem, right? No. 
because they make their money having the problem. Now, years ago, I got a call once, I picked up the phone, and it was the American Cancer Society, we're still in the US at the time. And someone said, Mr. Lockman, would you like to donate to research for whatever it was, colon cancer? And I said, no, no thanks, I wouldn't, but, but if you have two minutes, I can explain to you how to completely avoid ever developing colon cancer. And she hung up. Because they're not interested in that. That's not how they make their money. Okay, if there's no cancer, what are they going to They're going to have to go find jobs. Okay, the people running that, that organization make a lot of money. A lot. One of them, I mean, you know, the guy, the guy running the operation makes more money than we take in as a small business in an entire year. He personally gets paid that much. Okay? I'm paying 15 people all the other bills and there's not any money left over for me. He's putting that in his pocket. Okay? You had a question. You, you, oh, well, you had a question? No. You had a question. Can you repeat those three things that change after? Yeah, sure. A, put the drain plug in, i.e., stop consuming acid forming substances. Okay? Switch, change your diet to a diet of fruit and leafy greens. Now your body's not losing calcium all the time. Two, sunlight. You have to be exposed to sunlight on a regular basis. We're tropical animals. We don't do well if we're in places without enough sunshine. I think that was what? A, two, and C. On C, you said exercise. Yeah. Exercise. Weight bearing exercise. Okay? Yeah. So let's say you've lost two inches okay. to osteoporosis, and you do those three things. Uh huh. Can you gain those? Two, two inches of height, you mean? Yes. Well, I don't know. I'm not convinced that height loss is primarily due to osteoporosis. I believe height loss is, pro which is common in older people. When you know, when we ask you uh, yesterday, oh, we didn't do it yet. I actually forgot to do this. We'll get it done today. So we get you on the scale. Someone's going to say, "Lee, how tall are you?" And they'll they'll input that information. And what happens when we have people who are usually over 60 or over 65 is they'll say things like, "Well." I used to be, because yeah. most people, most many of your contemporaries have lost height, right? That's common. I believe it happens because your discs are bags of water, cushioning your vertebrae, and you are losing water from them every single day on purpose, like osteoporosis. Your body's taking that water away because you are dangerously dehydrated and it's got to find the water somewhere. Mm -hmm. And so it's taking water from things that are not critical to your survival. That's what's going on. That's what I believe is going on. It's a separate issue. A lot of my stuff is no good, but on bones, my bones test out at 20. You know, so there's no osteoporosis whatsoever, but I've lost an inch in height, so I don't think they're related either. Right. Can you get it back? I don't yes. How do you get your height back if you've lost height? Hang upside down. <laughs> actually, I, the best way I think is to actually hang by the neck. You stretch out a bit, and then you'll be taller. I mean, you'll have a you have a longer coffin that way. Um, no, what you do is you get hydrated. You get hydrated. You rehydrate your body, and you gain regain your lost height. We'll talk another time tomorrow, if you like, about the other effects of dehydration on the body. Okay, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them, and they're all reversible by getting hydrated. Okay. All right, is that is that clear? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in more information about fasting in general, we've got a playlist there. If you're interested in fasting for specific conditions, you can check out that list. If you want to hear what people experience was in their own words, we've got a group there, and then we've got another one which is all about optimal diet and how to maximize your health.